Hey guys, Jessica Shire here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm up on the Brutus Monroe blog with this fun card. It's kind of a Valentine's Halloween mix match kind of card. It's got a little bit of a weird theme, but I think it's totally adorable. It's just one of those cards that you just kind of throw together and just have fun playing with it. You're not really sure of the outcome. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp the witch's hat from the trick or treat set with Raven detail ink on some 80 pound, some Nina 80 pound cardstock. And then I'm also going to be using the sentiment that says love your face. And that one is from super sentimental. If you haven't seen the like second version to super sentimental, it just came out. I think it's called sweet sentimental. I'll have it linked below, but that one is really cool too. I like that they're expanding this kind of a sentiment line that they have. I love the word art. I'm going to color up this hat with a couple of Copics and I'm using some warm grays and a couple of the BGs. I'll have the markers that I use listed below or you can follow the caps on the screen. I'm also going to fussy cut these out. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the background that is on the top right hand side that blue purple like spray paint background and that is the aubergine surface spray i did a instagram story a couple of them uh, showing the different colors of the surface sprays i was just playing around with them kind of getting swatches so i can have them in my swatch book just really experimenting with them but i used a like a die cut heart from another piece of cardstock and use that as kind of a mask so that I had this heart shape in it. I just thought it looked really cool. I really like the texture that these surface sprays have. And so I decided to turn this one into a card. The center heart that is white kind of did get smudged a little bit. So I'm going to cover that with another heart die. This one has the inner heart and then like a outer edge with a scallop all the way around. And I die cut those from the designer toner sheets from Burtis Monroe and Deco Foil. And this one is the one that has a white background. It doesn't have that clear. So I went ahead and I heated up my laminator and then ran that through with some of that orange sketch foil. This is such a really cool, it has a lot of texture to it, but it's still very shimmery and shiny like foil is. And I really like the look of this. It looks kind of like the web is wrapped around this heart. Kind of creepy. So after fussy cutting that hat, I go ahead and I ink the edges and then I'm going to fussy cut out that sentiment, that word art. I didn't really have a shape in mind when I cut this out. So it has like a kind of a weird shape, but I'm just going to go with it. I think it still looks kind of cool. I wanted to darken this heart. I thought a black heart with that orange foil spider web would be really cool. So I use a makeup blending brush and that Raven detail ink again to ink blend over the top. And this gives a really cool, like a smoky gray black color. And it really makes that foil stand out, I think. But I only do that to the inner heart and not that outer ring with the scallop. I like the white scallop border. I'm going to go ahead and trim up that surface spray background real quick. And I was thinking I might use the Haunted Mansion paper, uh, the pattern paper for this. That's why you see it in the screen, but I didn't end up using it. I just couldn't make it work how I wanted it to. I'm also going to back that surface spray aubergine background with a piece of sidewalk cardstock from British Monroe. It's a really light gray. It basically looks white. You can kind of see the difference between the sidewalk and the Nina on camera. It's a slight difference, but I think it's a, it's a light enough color to be very unnoticeable, but it does help make those colors stand out a bit more, I think. And I thought the background needed a bit more. This has been dried for quite a while. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with that jack-o'-lantern surface spray. And this will sit right on top of that aubergine surface spray that I already sprayed. 
because it's been dry for quite a bit now. You can heat set these surface sprays. So I go ahead and do that with the orange one just so that it's dried a little bit quicker and I can keep moving on with this card. So now that I have all my layers and my heart die cuts and the sentiment, I'm gonna pop up that hat from the trick or treat set that I Copic colored. And I'm going to adhere that right on top, on that top portion of that sentiment. I really wanted to add a bit more texture. So I grab out the British Monroe acrylic bubbles. These are just really fun to play with. And I thought they worked really well for this card. They're very subtle but they add just a little bit extra to it. So I take some of the Brutus Monroe glue that I have, the liquid glue. I squeeze some of that onto a post-it note and then I just dip the acrylic bubbles into that and place them where I want on the card. I did end up using five of these, just kind of scattered around on the right hand side, but I think this looks really cool. And that's it for this card. Uh, this just goes to show you that you don't really need to have a Halloween sentiment to go with kind of your Halloween colors or stamps just to kind of mix it up for the season. I really just like making Halloween cards. They're just, they're so fun and they're so cute. I don't really know who I give them to, but I do like to make them. So I thought this was just a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Meh, meh.